Hey Leo, welcome to your general love reading for mid-December 2021. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Also, the roles can be reversed or even parts of the energies can be reversed because it is general. All right, so let's see. What is the overall energy for Leo? Second half of December. Ooh, okay, we have reinvention. Okay, so either you or someone else is making a huge shift, reinventing themselves, possibly changing certain certain beliefs, um, just doing something differently. It could even be breaking patterns. Let's see. Finding your identity. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of December. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Page of Wands. All right, for your energy, we have going from past to um, present and then future. We have the Three of Swords, Strength, and the Nine of Wands. For them, we have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. And potential outcome here, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Leo. Um, definitely somebody is feeling either abandoned or just, you know, at a loss here. Like, so I definitely feel like there has either been a separation or just feeling a lack. Uh, I'm just picking up on feeling lonely, like some loneliness here. And the challenge here is to really do something about it. Basically taking some kind of action. Maybe it's even communication. All right. This could be you or your person. Um, for you, yeah, definitely seeing that heartbreak here with the Three of Swords, all right, in the recent past. I do feel like you're coming out of it because currently you've been asked to find your strength and I feel like you have been doing that, right? This is also your element here. So I do feel like you are beginning to come out of that pain, out of that um, Three of Swords energy and just gradually getting stronger and stronger. I do see you still with this Nine of Wands, though, in the near future. It feels like it feels like you're almost there. I feel like you're pushing through. I'm getting a good vibe with this Nine of Wands and I don't always get that, but this guy is like, he's feeling okay. Like, I got this, I can do this, right? Whatever that is. Um, for the other person here, I actually feel like this Queen of Wands being in the in their recent past, I'm seeing this as the way that they were seeing you, like seeing you as very desirable, um, you being what they wanted, right? Because that's also your, your element. And currently though, there's a little bit of blocking that out. Either that or this person was just, you know, very assertive, very confident in the past, um, was expressing their desires all of that and now it feels like there's been some kind of block or some kind of defensiveness. All right, I do see them moving more towards trying to figure it out with the Seven of Pentacles, trying to do something here. So possibly coming out of that defensiveness that they are currently in and then with the Seven of Cups being in the potential outcome. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, I feel like there might be a little bit of I might be a little bit of confusion here, but we'll see more when we clarify. So let's see, five of pentacles with the page of wands. Let's clarify. All right, we have the ace of cups, the hierophant, the six of swords, and we also have the knight of wands. Hmm. Well, there is definitely love here. That's for sure. There's definitely love. Um, I definitely feel like this is a spiritual connection. But there's also been a lot of learning from this situation. And I feel like that's why we have the reinvention card. Because it's like through this law, somebody is 
gaining higher knowledge here and moving away from certain things. Definitely, though, there is... Um, I feel like one of the two of you is a little bit inconsistent, possibly trying to avoid the situation, trying to avoid what is here, even if there is very, very deep, deep love and a deep spiritual connection. There's definitely this urge, though. There's an urge. I'm even getting an urge to travel. Travel, communicate, um, okay, if you're not in contact. Somebody's definitely feeling lonely. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. That three of swords for you, even though it's pretty clear. Seven of cups. I feel like you, you're you not even really sure why maybe things ended in the way that they did. Like you, there might be still some confusion about that. Or even this pain may have um, kind of clouded your judgment with certain things. It just kind of left you really not knowing, not knowing what to do here. Let's see strength for your current energy. <laughs> Clarified by strength again. Okay. Wow, Leo. Like this is a lot of strength. And also the King of Pentacles. Okay, you're, I feel like you're really trying to make things um, happen for yourself. At least you're, you're, you're focusing possibly on, you might be focusing on other things. And that could be, you know, your way of dealing with the strength that you need. Even it, it, as crazy as that sounds, it's like, hold on, let me get one more. Because I do kind of, now I'm getting with that Seven of Cups that you may have been distracting yourself as well from the pain. By doing other things but I'm also getting it it's okay because you are still getting stronger um, let's see. maybe you just weren't ready to deal with that pain at the time uh, yeah ten of Pentacles and the eight of Pentacles so it definitely feels like you're you might be distracting yourself with work yeah Either with work or just working on some kind of a project, just doing other things in your material world, in your material life, in your environment. I feel like you're putting a lot of focus on that. However, I, I am also getting you still want a commitment with this person. And it's like through this though, I feel like that strength is kind of working in the background. It's like gradually building so that you can deal with that pain because it's like even if you end up getting back with this person, it's like that pain will still need to be addressed. And I feel like that is what is happening. And you are healing through this. You, you're definitely healing through this. I feel like you're definitely reinventing yourself. The other person might be as well, but we'll see more when we clarify their energy, um, which we're actually going to do right now. So let's see that Queen of Wands for their recent past. And we have the devil. Mm, okay. All right. So for some of you, this person may have had another connection here. Um, that's, uh, yeah. Okay. That could be what that Queen of Wands is representing here. So yeah. So there definitely could have been another situation here that they got involved with that was toxic, unhealthy, um, lust-based. Or, or some kind of an unhealthy attachment. Which would explain the pain that you are in. Let's see your current energy. Let's see the Seven of Wands. Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, so they're definitely feeling regret. This is part of the... They're feeling guilt. They're feeling regret for whatever it is that may have happened. And so this is why they are they have their defenses up. They have their guard up. I feel like they are... 
there is some energy that they are giving to you. It, it might not be obvious to you, okay? Because it could just be, um, it could just be in their minds. But I feel like this person is feeling this guilt, almost trying to block it out, but it's there. It's like they can't. I feel like it's being thrown like right in front of their face. They're feeling this. They're feeling this and there's something that they're learning from this as well. Almost like, you know, they're having to face the consequences of, of you know, whatever, whatever their actions were. And because we do have the devil attached to them, there is definitely something here that was unhealthy that they engaged in. And it doesn't necessarily have to be um, another person or cheating. It could even be their own behavior towards you. All right, let's see what's coming up. Let's see that nine of wands for you. All right, the page of wands, the queen of swords, and the seven of wands. Interesting how they have the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands together and then in their current energy and you have it in your near future energy. Um, the same combination with those two. I feel like you, you, you're almost going to want to communicate with this person. If you're not in communication or even if you are, I feel like there's going to be something that you want to say to this person, but you're holding back. You're holding back from fully expressing how, how you feel and from whatever it is that you want to say. And I feel like there is no right or wrong. I just see you kind of not really wanting to, you know? So, I mean, I would say trust your own intuition on what you end up doing here, but it feels like there's this part of you that just wants to block this person out, cut this person out, like, I don't wanna have anything to do with this. But then there's also this other part of you that's like, yeah, but what if, what if like I said this, or what if I said that? And again, I'm getting that, you know, it it's really up to you. What matters is your own sense of self, your own sense of strength and the progress that you make when it comes to dealing with this pain. And of course, you know, not allowing yourself to be taken advantage of or anything like that, right? Let's see that Seven of Pentacles for them. Five of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Four of Wands, King of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> so they're taking some steps here. There's something here that they're trying to do. There's something here that they're trying to figure out because I feel like this person is now going to be feeling very lonely. They're going to they're gonna be the ones feeling left out, possibly because you're kind of setting boundaries or, you know, not communicating with them or just pretty much not really giving them something. So it feels like I feel like that's actually throwing them in this king of swords, like really trying to figure something out, trying to get that clarity when it comes to this commitment. And <clears throat> actually, I see them getting on this on this path where they are trying to make things right. Taking some steps here. And whatever that is, it, it does feel stable. It does feel like it's moving steadily. So I don't know what this person did. I don't know what exactly happened, but I do see them moving in an energy that feels um, more grounded and more mature. But again, right, it's up to you. Let's see that Seven of Cups. Because yeah, I see you kind of, you know, standing your ground, basically. 
And that could be, you know, what would be in your highest good. All right, so for the Seven of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands, and we also have the King of Wands. Yeah, because you know what? I feel like you just still haven't figured, figured out what you want. And because you haven't figured out if this is what you want or not, you're like, no, I'm not going to be impulsive. I'm not just going to do um, whatever. I'm not just going to give in to passion. I want to release this burden. I don't want to be burdened with really having to pressure myself and figure this out right now, you know? So, and I feel like, you know, that, that actually makes sense, you know, allowing this person to figure it out, allow them to do what they want, allow them to say what they say, what they want to say if they come back. Um, and you can, you can pretty much take your time here. Cause I feel like you're, you're, you're um, concerned about going back to something because you, the, that passion is there, which is going to then burden you even more. So yeah, that's what I see here. This person trying to resolve the situation and you possibly just being a little bit, um, just a little bit hesitant or just, you know, not really having, not really being clear on what this person's intentions are. And that's okay. All right, Leo. But there is this reinvention that's happening, possibly for the both of you. Well, let's see. Final message for Leo, if this resonated. All right, and we have focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. All right, take that as it resonates. <clears throat> no need to explain anything. That is it. <laughs> So yeah, those were the messages, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.